Okay, so a nice vectors question, nice A grade question here, question 16. We've got a hexagon here and we've told some information this is worth 6A. Um, it hasn't come out very well. Um, these should be bold or underlined, so that's 6A, 6B, all the way over there is 12A. 12B, sorry. Find BC in terms of A and B. So I want to get from B to C in terms of A and B. Well, I may have to use the directions given, B's and, C, B's and A's. So, well, let's write that in full. And I've got to go, if I go backwards down here, I go backwards down there, backwards down there, but forwards up there. That means I'm doing minus 6B minus 6a and then I'm adding on 12b if I go in those directions minus because I'm going backwards plus because I'm going forwards so collect them together I've got 12b minus 6b which is 6b and minus 6a so in terms of a and b straightforward now if I change to red it tells me now um, for the second part it tells me x is the midpoint of d so that's the middle between C and D, okay. It tells me why is the point on BC extended such that CY equals 3, 2. So why is on the point BC extended? So let's make BC a little bit longer. And somewhere on there is the point Y. And it tells us that BC is 3 and CY is 2. So BC is 3, CY is 2. Okay? And we need to prove that OXY line is a straight line. So we need to show that there's a straight line, OXY, and then on a straight line. Well, let's break it up into bits. Let's show. Let's go from O to X. How do I go from O to X? Well, I'm going to go 12 B's, that takes me to C. And I'm going to go down here, which is minus 3A. Okay? And if I do X to Y, now, to show them the straight line, I need to show them that they're parallel and also that they include the same point. So if I do that, if I can show they're parallel, then I can go from O to X and X to Y, as long as I'm carrying on in the same direction or using the same vector, but maybe just a different length. Well, from here, um, from C, well, X, this little bit here is worth 3A. And then I want to do two thirds. And I know what B to C is, that was in the first question. I want to do two thirds because this bit's only two. So then I want to do two thirds of 6B minus 6A. I know it's two thirds because of the numbers here. This is three lots, this is two. So that means I get 3A plus, well, two thirds of that is 4B, two thirds of that is minus 4A. So I get the vector 4B minus A. Now, if I look at this vector here, if I look at OX, and look at XY, well, so OX is actually equal to 3 lots of 4B minus A. So they are parallel and must lay on a straight line. So we showed that if we look, the x to y vector is this, and the o to x vector is just three lots of that. So if we go from o to x and we don't change direction, we just do a third of it, we're going to get to y. So we're showing it all on the same line. 